Hello everyone, just a quick video to share with you how to create a bootable USB. Um, in this video I'm going to be using uh, VMware's vSphere 6.7 ESXi uh, operating system. Um, that's just because I've got two Dell uh, servers that I want to install the operating system on. Uh, as I've, sh as I've um, shown in the last uh, video, I've got a small little home lab that I've been setting up and I've done the network configuration and I'm currently trying to install or I'm moving on to installing the um, operating system on the service so on this topology diagram I've put ESXi 7 but obviously that's not out until May so I'm going to install ESXi 6.7 instead on the two servers now in order to do that I need to create myself a bootable USB and then in insert it into the uh, servers and hopefully boot up from the uh, USB. Now this process is the same for creating a Windows 10 USB, it's also the same for creating a Linux based USB uh, such as Ubuntu or, or Fedora or wh whichever flavor you prefer and likewise for creating uh, an, a USB like Windows Server 2016 or 2019. So you could actually use this to create any type of operating system uh, to sort of boot off from the USB. Now, the software I'm using is a free software, very popular, it's called Rufus. I'll put a link to the uh, uh, site where you can download it in the description area. I'll just, so what I need to do is just launch my Rufus application. Now, I've already created an ESXi 6.7 USB, but I'm just going to do it again just, uh, just to sort of, for the purposes of this tutorial. I'll select the USB device that I want, that's the first thing, the device. Once I've selected my USB, which is 8 gig, and I'd recommend using at least an 8 gig USB because even though my image file is fairly small, as you can see over here, this uh, ESXi image is only 335 megabytes. If you were installing uh, a Windows uh, operating system or a Linux one, it would probably be a few gigs. So therefore, I'd recommend use at least an 8 gig USB. Anything smaller than that nowadays isn't really recommended. So yeah, get your select your USB. Once you've plugged it into your machine, obviously, select it and then select the um, image file. So go to image, say select. Now I've got server 2019 here, which I'm not going to use. And you can see obviously that's quite large, that's almost 5 gig. But I'm going to install this um, ESXi operating system here. Select that, click on open. Once I do that, it gives me the partition scheme, which it's, it says it's going to use MBR, master boot record, which is the old type. If you're using an old device, stick with MBR. If you're using a newer device, then stick with GPT. I'm just going to stick with MBR for now um, and leave it to BIOS or UEFI. It will do that for me. Then you just give it a name. I'll just keep the default name that it's suggested. And once it's once that's done, it's good to go. So just click on start. It gives me uh, a warning. This ISO image seems to be to use an obsolete version of. Okay, I'll ignore that. I'll just say yes and then it's going to give me a warning about wiping the disks uh, the data on the disk I'll say OK to that and it will start the process of creating the USB once it's done I can then take out my USB put it into my server boot off from the server and start installing the uh, ESXi operating system just so I can get um, the second part of my lab set up so it seems to have completed uh, once complete you can just click on close and that's it it's literally as simple as that obviously the process will take longer depending on the type of operating system that you're using if you're doing a Windows 10 one and it's a few gig or Windows Server one and it's a few gig then it will take much longer my one was 335 meg so it's fairly quick check out the other video that I made uh, with regards to the lab that I'm currently setting up so I'm setting up a physical home lab and this is the USB that I'm going to use to obviously install the operating system, the VMware operating system on. Check out the other video and hopefully I hope this has uh, been informative for you. Please subscribe, like and share and I'll see you in the next video.